Nearing port by Mary Hannah Foote. A blue line to the westward that surely is not cloud, a green tinge in the waters, a clamorous bird crowd, and far off from me edges and hilltops timber fringed, and perched aloft a lighthouse of a grey cliff's golden tink. O watchers leaning landward, now ye of nothing more, and hear ye but the sea birds, and see ye but the shore. Now look a while and listen who bids you welcome where the great sea's kisses sandals the high stars gem her hair. Behold her in the gateway, high held on either land, a blazing beacon lighted to lead you to the land. Now welcome, kindly welcome, who come to me for cheer. My thoughts may frown on others, but ye have naught to fear. The cannons flash and thunder are all for joy today. The murmurs meet your coming and wish to bar your way. Our later call to labor shall be your toil that morn remember as against you the heat and birth and born. Now real we shall not. We pray the laborer's Lord may give you after comes a full day's full reward. Now fear not, fair haired maiden, for gladness waits we here, as by thy father's fireside and bygone days and dear. Thy trouble bro, O matron, benefit's silvering hair, shall gain no fresher furrows, shall lose its look of care. No longer for thy household where winter needs for dread, nor fearing for tomorrow shall stint the children's bread. And though a mother's darling of those young locks of fine, what midnight rain shall better, what tropic sun shall shine. Thy tender hands, toil hardened, unwanted tools shall wield, shall fell the corner forest, shall till the forward field. Yet when at England's fire set her olden tales are told, bear chance mid tearful silence one for the land of gold. Shall tell a brave new story of want and work and care, of trial and of triumph, to touch the coldest wear. Nor enter ye a haven your fathers have not known, nor trail ye in a country that once was not your own. Part of a new world's army, the pioneers are ye, for whom there waits and gathered a wealth of earth and sea. No need of fiery baptism, no blood, no tears to flow. Allegiance of the Caesars had you but conquered so. Of Vikings in Valhalla, of fathers dead and gone, could you have made such landings such golden shores upon?